uh, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us today. We are excited to have you here. Today we'll learn and grow, learn from each other. I'm Tanzil Sheikh, a teacher at Golden Sparrow and I'll be your host for the day. Let me take a moment to talk about Golden Sparrow. In the new age of learning, blended learning is the new norm. This is the new age K-12 schooling, the one we call Sone Ki Chiriya, Golden Sparrow. Let me quickly take you through some of the unique prepositions and salient features of Golden Sparrow. Number one, it is a blend of national and international curriculum ranging from books that are from Cambridge and CBSE. The online schooling at Golden Sparrow Hub School leverages technology and is signed up for Google for Education and uses extensively Google Meet, Google Classrooms and Streams to convey a lot of messages, homeworks and assignments to teachers, parents and students. We are based on the Scandinavian model of four days work week where the students learn three to four hours, four days and thus have ample time to pursue their hobbies, do social work, and yet complete the academic work. We have regular authentic assessments, exit tickets, formative and summative assessments that are conducted throughout the year. We are proud of the quality of teachers that we have from all across of India, from Goa to Lucknow to our very own Mumbai. Our teachers are passionate, well-educated, experienced, and creative. Talking about the subjects, the subjects that Golden Sparrow offers are core subjects ranging from mathematics, science and English to drama, public speaking and arts. We also have social studies, business studies, financial literacy and computer sciences ranging from coding, scratch to understanding the new technologies, including AI. We also have additional languages like Hindi, Mandarin, and a foreign language that the students can choose from. Besides that, we offer co-curricular subjects like life skills with award-winning candle curriculum based on the NEP, National Education Policy. There is an entrepreneurship program and our core basis is a sustainable program goal from the United Nations 17 SDG Sustainable Development Goals. Plus, we have fun games across the year for all our wonderful students. All of these resources are available once you join the program as PDFs, books, and teacher's videos uploaded on YouTube, Drive, we also have flipped classrooms and a lot of in-class learning taking place as well. Golden Sparrow is a complete alternate schooling. We have our own pedagogy ranging from pre-primary curriculum to grades 1 to 8, where we use extensively Cambridge learning outcomes and Oxford and Cambridge CBSE books. For 9th and 10th, we switch over to the Government of India's board, the NIOS, National Institute of Open Schooling. And we are proud to say that our students have not only done well in the NIOS, but also graduated and have gone to some of the best colleges here as well as in abroad. Golden Sparrow is extremely fun. We have a lot of events every month from celebrating national and international days to guest lectures, workshops, games, competitions, and so much more, both online over at Golden Sparrow Hub School as well as offline at Golden Sparrow Academy. So we welcome you to join our academic year that begins in June and it ends in March. You can explore the option of online learning if you are a traveling family and if you face challenges with the traditional schooling system, then Golden Sparrow is the panache for you. Now, before we commence the program, I like to welcome the guest, the speaker, the star of the day, Dr. Daud Baird. A few words about him. Dr. Daud Baird is a mindset coach, an educationist and quizzer, an electronics engineer, MA in education, and an MBA. He left his lavish career as a patent attorney in Switzerland, Moscow, and Dubai to work on SDG global goals and skill curriculum. 
He has authored the education riddle. He heads an online e-school and sustainable academy, Golden Sparrow Education, headquartered at Navi Mumbai. He loves horses, quizzing, and playing board games. So without further ado, over to you, Dawood sir. Thank you so much, Tanzil ma'am. And I wish that star of the day part is recorded. I'll keep playing on the loop and I'll, I'll play it with my wife at home. It's, it's nice to be acknowledged. Nice to have a wonderful team which backs you up. And uh, it's, it's always good. Thank you so much. Good to see we've reached a 50. That's a good ominous sign for India winning the World Cup now. And hopefully we'll do well. The next one hour, I'll take you on a journey. A journey to your BEDs, a journey to your own education systems, a journey where we've learned all these concepts. Just perhaps let's relearn it the golden sparrow way. Let's relearn it in the way where we can memorize not just the concept, but the implementation of this. Before I begin, I must thank the entire team of participants who have come from one of my favorite group there, the homeschoolers group, where we did a small social experiment of 10 people registering with a paid membership and we make it free and open for everybody. So all of you, thank you so much. Uh, thank a couple of schools specifically that uh, we are, you know, oh, oh yes, Josefa, so you can, can keep on and keep off. Absolutely fine. As long as you, you're listening to it and you're enjoying it, the recording will be available for sure for those who have some errands to go around. The best part in online is the speakers relax if somebody is listening, even if you aren't. So that's Bloom's taxonomy, the higher order taxonomy. Uh, I was just mentioning and acknowledging a couple of schools. So this is the uh, Kenridge School in Chennai, who's been participating now. And thank you so much. There is the Oyster School in Pune. And uh, they've been wonderful support. So the entire school team, probably a couple of people coming together and joining. So that's wonderful. And of course, the wonderful teachers, Joyce Ma'am and her team, Shabana Ma'am and her team, the Golden Sparrows online and the Academy. Thank you and welcome everybody to this webinar on Bloom's Taxonomy. All of you who have registered, yes, please make sure you do the filling of the form so that your certificates can be given to you. And it's something, you know, it's, it's a wonderful achievement, perhaps, where you can actually claim to know what Bloom really wanted to do. Our objective is very simple. The taxonomy, what is the taxonomy? We learn that. How do we scale the triangle? And primarily, does taxonomy help us to solve or prepare the exam paper? Some of the concepts are what we will do. We'll align a lot of theory with practice in the webinar itself. I will take you to certain exercises, certain games. Use your chats, use your voice messages. Be with me for the next 45 to 50 minutes. I promise you, you will never look at blooms the same way. You, you all are comfortable. You can enjoy the session. You can keep the videos on and off. It's absolutely okay as long as you can hear me. The entire idea is... Can Blooms become a part of a classroom instruction or home instruction if you're homeschoolers? Can Blooms become a part of your teaching and learning aid? That's the whole purpose of this particular webinar. So very strange, you know, when we, when we wonder today's pedagogy, today's modern theories, you know, we come up with AIs and machine learning and blockchain and NLPs, yet a uh, educationists giving a theory which was early part of 1950s. Can you imagine? Early 20th century. And even after almost close to 70 years of his existence, we are actually using the taxonomy. So whoever says that, you know, what is old is not relevant. We are living in a world which is new. Trust me, that's what the whole perspective is. You go back in time, you look at the best pedagogy, you go to the best tools. It could be Maria Montessori's entire program, or it could be Benjamin Bloom, or Vygotsky's program, or anything that you've heard. All of them are relevant. It's just that the approach is different. Are we teaching it in a different way? Sometimes we as educationists, sometimes we as, you know, uh, as teachers, we, we are very biased and we say, okay, we are not relevant anymore. Trust me, all of us are relevant. If anyone out here, you are you are 50 plus, welcome to the club. Now, just, just, just suggesting, I won't ask you your ages, but the Bloom's idea says that we all are important. What is taxonomy? Taxonomy is basically to classify something. You know, how good or how relevant it is in the understanding. So I said, okay, let me make it easy. Let me go and explain to all of us in a language I understand. Some other time I will do multiple intelligence theory by Dr. Howard Gardner. And I'm a naturalist learner. I learn through animals. The taxonomy is this. 
if both of them belong to the same family what family do these creatures belong to anybody you can use your quick chats and let me know so i know i've got somebody letting me yeah you can use just let me just just let me know what what family do they belong to oh thank you so much fantastic absolutely shakti ma'am all of you out there they all belong they both belong to the cat family does it mean you can have both of them as pets try try for an example the way you pet a per a, a cat do the same thing with a tiger you can't do that right it's a very honest simple understanding this is where taxonomy comes in the moment you say they are cat families what's the division where do they belong which cats are we talking about so i said let me go back to a little biology that you did in your grade 12 and teach you the word taxonomy is from here the family is the same the sub family starts differing one is panthera remember lion is called panthera leo so the tiger belongs to a species of the big cats the the jaguars the leopards the tigers the lions the cheetahs and the cat which are 33 species by the way are small cat subspecies siamese cat there's so many of them persian cats your normal stray cat i don't even know if there's a gender or, or a name for that this is what taxonomy says taxonomy when mr bloom wanted us to understand how do you prepare a question for a child he said the question could be anywhere but how do you divide the question are you really testing the intelligence are you testing the creativity that's the whole idea if you understand the word taxonomy we will go to bloom's taxonomy so the so the category is feline right uh, what's the category for for dogs called now this is interesting now you know now i'm teaching you taxonomy before i teach you blooms what's the category for the dogs feline canine okay canine all right what about the horses now we we get interesting right tanzil ma'am ramiza ma'am thank you so much you are the first quick ones ek crore rupaye aap log ke liye what about the horses now a little difficult isn't it think about it we've heard it so often the competition is known by the by the name wonderful they who else all the way from turkey you got guest you know we are international now right so shivana ma'am it's equestrian competition and equine so this is taxonomy all of them belong to the class until class it's mammals so mammalia carnivores so you differ now they are carnivores herbivores and then the difference comes in that species is catus i didn't even know there's a species called catus but this in short is what taxonomy is all about bloom said can we do a taxonomy of our teaching style you are teaching but are you aware that your teaching is at a particular level it's like you are teaching them you know swimming very simple example but you only teaching them one stroke which is a butterfly stroke or you only teaching them at 4 feet when will this learn diving in the asian games right now china has 179 odd gold medals we are very proud india has the highest tally of gold medals but still we are not entering the swimming competition where there are 40 to 30 uh, gold medals at stake so there you are you are teaching and that's what bloom found out 95% of the question papers that teachers are teaching is at the lowest possible level which is called the recall it's just the recalling of information our questions are generally about who what why the five or the six why and what you know we are mostly making them detectives we are making them curious but not creative remember i repeat we are making them curious but not creative there is a method to teach our children you could be a parent you could be a father a mother a teacher you could be at any level of your profession blooms is a wonderful tool so what bloom said is that three domains essentially cognitive affective psychomotor he talks about the cognitive domain not emotions involved not gross motor and he says can i teach them about cognition remember cts cognition technology solution they said can i apply all of this in the mind and i teach them i promise you this is the only theory i'm going to give you you understood let's get to the learning part of it so far what i told you is at a bloom's level number low the lowest level i just told you about taxonomy let me ask you a simple question what connects steve jobs to sleeping beauty go ahead now the moment i said recall this says no recall out there oh wonderful thank you so much i got one answer all right madhya ma'am thinks it's apple wonderful what else 
Did did Sleeping Beauty ever use an iPhone? Think about it. What else? Anyone else with a different answer? I've got. I'm, I'm teaching you a Bloom's taxonomy level. Okay, I've got two apples. So so two apples make an answer correct. Might be that's what I'm looking for. Fair enough. I thought I thought my answer was they wear the same dress throughout their life. Thank you so much. Faisal says communication with the prince. Wonderful. I like the creativity. When you push your students, a research says if you leave your students with 40 seconds more. The answers increase by 70%. Wow. Thank you, Noorja, ma'am. The letter S, I never thought of that. I am sure you must be teaching English in the Golden Sparrow because I wouldn't think of that. But that's wonderful. Fantastic. You're doing good. So we are looking at Steve Jobs and Sleeping Beauty. And, and hopefully, you know, I, I think I'll take the first answer. That is the apple. It also connects Newton. It also connects Adam and Eve. It connects a lot of people. But now, what is Blooms to do with an apple? And this is the first of the Blooms. I'm teaching you this in terms of what we do with Blooms. And then hopefully we'll take up more and more of Blooms taxonomy. Remember, I promise you, not Sleeping Beauty. Who is the guest coming in, by the way? Let me see a recall now. The first was only recall. Uh, in some of the messages we've sent in WhatsApp, there's a special guest coming in. Any, anyone, any an idea who is coming in? A special guest is coming. Oh, thank you so much, Hena, ma'am. The Goldilocks. No wonder Faisal, sir, and Josefa sir, is already there. They came in 10 minutes before. Sir, hold on. Goldilocks is just a fictional character, right? Search your own Goldilocks in your house. You know, it's okay. Uh, so, there we are. Bloom sticks on. I mean, let's go back to our apple. Six levels is what the Bloom sticks on. I mean, is all about. Six levels. If there was an apple, the question was about a simple apple. What's an apple? Apple is a fruit. You can describe apple as an edible thing. Apple as in just something that grows. So now what you just did is you did level one, which is knowledge. Bloom said 90% of a question paper is one and two. Where do apple grow? How do apple grow? Seeds, root, branches. That's comprehension. That's number two level of blooms. But what can you do with an apple? Wow, you can make an apple pie. That's application. That is number three. Hardly we touch number three in English. No, never. In maths, oh, uh, nobody ever taught me why it was algebra important until I came and realized you can be a algebra and you can learn about Google. But application only came with baking powder and making a volcano in science or perhaps the only subject really which was applied was arts and crafts application is is missing from a school vocabulary that's what apple is about apple pie but the further you go analysis is when oh thank you so much madhya ma'am an apple a day keeps the doctor away my my good friend dr amit saste he doesn't like it because he says my my wife eats apple too many and sorry for all the puns and pjs but analysis is how do you compare apples anyone go ahead how many apples do you know of Tell me some, some quick names of apples. I'm sure you have a lot of apples in your mind. Tell me some apples. All right. There is a Kashmiri apple, the most famous. Fiji apple, of course. Green apple, wonderful. You know, Leo Bernard, uh, one of the companies he runs, he had an, an entire... Oh, Nooja ma'am, you are on us. Apple spree, golden apple. He had an entire green apple philosophy. Shimla apple, Washington apple. I was waiting for Washington apple. Thank you so much, Team Kendrick and Fatima ma'am. Water apple, Jasmine, ma'am. Oh, my goodness. There is green. Adam's apple. Oh, there you are. Okay, there you are. I, I have no idea who the pink lady is, but I know the uh, Adam's apple. Granny Smith. Wonderful. I, I know. Wow. Honey crisp apple. Newton's apple. There you are. You have already gone to analysis. You're comparing apple with a quote, with a subject, with a location, with a story. And what you just did is you went to number five. You created something new. I would never think of, oh my goodness, I would love apple and crispy apples and ice apples. You are very creative. What are you doing in this workshop? Log off and just enjoy your evening. That is synthesis. That, oh, right, Mahira. Oh, there is a student, Golden Sparrow student. She says, poison apple. Thank you. That is what Sleeping Beauty ate. No one of, none of you said, and I'm proud of you and your teacher should be proud of you, Mahira. That's exactly what you're talking about, right? Number six is you evaluate. You just take up a topic and said, 
is it worth teaching apple you know there is a concept called johnny apple seed oh rayan pineapple now now we're getting into we're getting out of syllabus that's what most of the teachers would call us brilliant i have seen creativity right now mr bloom would be a happy man twisting and turning in his grave for the wonderful answers you gave you just did what bloom wanted you to do you went from lot to hot what is lower order thinking skill oh i'm not taking custard apple anymore right shazia but it's my wife so i can't say no i have to read it out but what we usually do in our schools in our education system in a question paper is we do not go beyond what's the color of the apple you go back and look at your senior kg questions and it it does not matter what grade a child is it's opening up his cognition remember cognitive domain this is what bloom says the first three is remembering and understanding which is lots lower order thinking skill remember lots and hots so your question papers and go back and analyze the question paper you prepared most of us are doing lots we are in the lots lots is as in lots many we are doing lower order thinking skill what's the color of the apple what's the shape of the apple where does apple grow my goodness there is nothing beyond it do you know if you tell the story of a person called johnny apple seed i had one over you you didn't tell me johnny apple seed this man went on you know planting apple plants all over united states there are this is why the word washington apple comes in he was in the area of washington and today that is one entire type of apple category of apple thanks to johnny apple seed all right shaista ma'am that's from kolkata apple cedar it says you become thin i bought five bottles i'm still not thin am i supposed to drink it also i didn't know that that's lower order we move on to higher order the higher order thinking skill says you take a concept you analyze it you are taking a concept and you are understanding you are decoding it you are identifying its relationship and then you evaluating you are making judgement why are apples so expensive why why don't we take up an apple and make a maple syrup wow there you are and then you are creating something new this is the taxonomy this is a cognitive domain the taxonomy went through a lot of revision upgrades but don't you see it's such a beautiful tool a tool that all of us can relate to a tool which tells us maybe i was teaching the incorrect way 50 years back in 2000 bloom's taxonomy was as relevant as it is in 2023 and hopefully by 2056 100 years later it still be relevant we may not be relevant why because it talks about fundamental human quality of creating evaluating analyzing we are teaching this blooms so what happens is when bloom came up with the theory there was a little analysis done which says all right let creating be on the top of something something new that you create artificial intelligence it creates something new but it doesn't say that evaluating analyzing the entire structure is very important this in short in one take a screenshot of this one one slide i'll be sharing the presentation with anybody who wants it but this is bloom's taxonomy what we have done is we've just understood the bloom's taxonomy probably moving onwards we will take up two or three examples and we are done with the session that's sorted the idea was did you understand the taxonomy are we good so far i'm seeing from the answers i'm wonderful i'm enjoying because the fact that you're doing good thank you so much you can give a lot of emojis so i know you all are there with me so we are at a very very basic stage fantastic going good the level of lots were first two category knowledge so you remember you recall most of us do that or comprehension as a favorite uh, you know a uh, question my my sir had did you understand after every few sentences he'll ask me did you understand and that was the lots level you know god bless him and that was the level most of the educators left then we asking ourselves can we push ourselves to applying analyzing evaluating can we do a little better and and what we'll be doing is how the question is can i make it better can i make it interesting we'll do it don't worry you just did apple as an example let's take up couple of more examples and we will understand blooms in a little better way now some of us you know as teachers we say how do i remember the blooms taxonomy is it is it so confusing the the entire knowledge remembering comprehension application analysis evaluation creative all right there is six but let's make a, a new term let us learn the blooms through mnemonics and also learn the blooms through acronym now what's a mnemonic anybody can you give an example of a mnemonic and an acronym 
right a if it's an acronym right m as if a mnemonic we learned some amazing mnemonics as kids we have never forgotten this so tell me what's a mnemonic anyone teachers out here all right thank you Josefa, sir absolutely an acronym is vimkyo oh wonderful acronym is hots oh my goodness you are using live example i'm proud you're learning that's that's a sign of growth okay thank you so much for copying the odds part lots is an acronym also so when you combine the first letters usually of a word it becomes an acronym i've seen so many of us you know so uh, you know uh, i have a friend whose, whose company is called mish and i said how did you come with mish he said me my wife my three kids i said what if there's one more addition so hopefully he'll not do that so so this is an idea that we are doing this is a concept that we're adding on and and we are looking at acronyms as a very common way to learn mnemonics remember remember how did you learn the the solar system the planets of the solar oh there you are you just you just read my mind ramiza ma'am uh, my very dear mother and and please show us the nine planets and and unfortunately the little piece is deleted now so please show us nine and it's hanging there i still have you know i haven't gotten over the fact that pluto is not a planet i loved it so much and most of us who have the same feeling trust me you're on the other side of 40 but that's how you learn a mnemonic and an acronym so i thought let me make a mnemonic for for the entire blooms and it's not necessarily you'll remember the same mnemonic but the idea was can you do it this way killing cats almost always evil crows i i, I really have, have no idea how you teach this but this is a mnemonic that i leave you with and we will you know probably just give you a break at this time think about what we're doing and we'll take this conversation forward just the idea that we are taking care of that we will killing cats almost always you know this is in a, a program i don't know how does it sound how does even it, it relates to all of you but it's a mnemonic that you could do oh yes you could calculate pi this way fantastic you can always use a lot of it i use an acronym the acronym was a very you know how do you say a tor maror ke i kind of mixed and matched the word cola and it says knowledge understanding application so these are just the words we are looking into and these hopefully will be a mnemonic that we are trying to calculate there so so just just look at it in a simple understanding a simple way and we'll take it forward the mnemonic as long as you remember knowledge understanding application analysis evaluation creating good enough either way it doesn't matter what you understand so a quick recap of what bloom's taxonomy is about this is what we'll be doing in a, in a series of smaller you know examples as we go ahead in the next 15 20 minutes we'll use blooms to prepare a question paper and that is where we'll introduce a guest but before i introduce this particular guest any questions so far is it good give me an okay and then i'll take it forward you know uh, the online classes have taught me that the shorter the program people appreciate the longer you go people don't and that's a hot lesson you know do not try to extend it for the sake of it so we are good to go we almost done 50 percent so keep a tab on your time and let's take the conversation forward when i was thinking of bloom's taxonomy i thought of groom's taxonomy and i said okay how would a groom understand this taxonomy and let me see if you understood it right i'll give you a second to look at this next slide it's all jumbled up Tell me which one would be first in the number game. So go ahead. And you know, you can just put a word there. You can tell me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we will understand this. Where does understanding her mood comes in in the taxonomy? Is it a high order thinking skill, a low order thinking skill? What would the first be in the taxonomy? Please tell me. All right. Faisal sir thinks understanding her moods is lots. Faisal sir, you've got it so wrong. Oh, it's hot. Oh, he just corrected himself. All right. Josefa sir, understanding our mood is remembering. Trust me, it is the highest level I can think of. Well, look at all the ladies out there. They know. All right. Uh, you have to, the, what would number one be? What would be remembering? The word itself is there. But that is the first thing we forget. You know, groom's taxonomy is the most difficult one. All right. Number one, as they say, is number four okay i get a lot of answers here uh thank you jasmine ma'am i'll take your answer remembering the anniversary is the basic right now that you've forgotten the anniversary let go to let's go to number two what happens then you 
All right, you better wish her right, otherwise you're in a problem. Prerna ma'am, don't come to the gift yet. I know you all love gifts, but okay, Jasmine ma'am is already in the diamonds now. You've forgotten the anniversary. Rose will not do. Forget any flowers. The diamonds are the only thing that he gave. Wishing Joycee ma'am says wishing her. All right, Swati ma'am, I'm enjoying the idea. Poor men have no idea what are we doing. The groom's taxonomy. I've I've even removed the word rose from the answer. It's the bride's choice. So. Okay, Josefa sir has got it right. Oh, Josefa sir, you you, I'm sure you're making your wife, your spouse very very happy. There you are, Josefa sir. Only request is remove the word rose. After forgetting the anniversary, rose does not work. It's tanish, and that's why they sell the diamonds only. We are wishing her right. Number two, we are getting a gift. We are making up with flowers, and then there is either a a Gucci bag or or a diamond ring, and do not attempt. Understanding our mood. Remember, remember when? Uh, thank you, Madhya Ma'am. But remember that uh, when you have this Khatro ke Khiladi or what is that called? Survival of the fittest program. It says these are done by people who are very specific. Whatever professionals do not try to ape it. So do not try to understand our mood. Even bloom will fail. The groom will definitely fail. But on that note, it's the bride's choice. And this, I'm sure you've learned the bloom taxonomy. I do not need to go and do any more experiments with you, but still, we've got only one little experiment left to do, and that is our guest for today. All right, so let's put our hands together and welcome this lovely, beautiful little girl who got lost, who was little, uh, uh, you know, mischievous. She did not listen to her parents. She went on and knocked at the door. She should not go. And this girl is Goldilocks. You know, when we do this session with the with the kids, let us do. A Bloom's taxonomy with Goldilocks. How about telling me some words that begin with the word gold? Go ahead. Let's see. Can we get thirty words collectively together? Thirty words with the word gold. All right. Thank you. Goldfish. Gold era. Goldsmith. Wow. I'm getting goldsmith twice. No wonder there's a gold coin coming up. Good. You gold digger. Golden egg. I can see. I can see hot slurry. Golden sparrow. No, yeah, man. A gift coming your way for sure. That is golden opportunity. Everybody wasted. She only gets it. Fantastic. Golden, golden opportunity. Yes, the golden sparrow. I'm getting Swati, ma'am. You just missed out on the gift, though. But thank you so much. Gold dust. There's a lot of gold jewelry and golden words coming our way. Golden eye. All right. Okay, okay. I get a lot of gold out there. How about an amalgamation of the word gold? Uh, let's say something. Oh yes, I was waiting for the word marigold. Thank you, thank you, Fatima, ma'am. That's wonderful. Okay, golden days and hearts and jubilee. I'm seeing a lot of gold. So on the note, okay, I, I think with the gold, everyone gets a little. Okay, where is where is my goldfish? I didn't see a goldfish coming my way, but there is gold blum, Jeff. I have no idea who this person is, but I do know golden Raphael. Yes, I know the golden R. Goldie Lock basically have wonderful locks, wonderful hairs. And that's why she is. Let's hold on to a gold quest and let's take a little detour and know the story. I'm sure most of you are aware of the story. For the sake of recall, I'll just tell you the story again for those who do not remember or recall, which is at a lower level. Remember, now we understand golden words and golden gates and let them keep coming. But Goldilock was this little girl who strayed away from her parents' place, and then as she went and she visited a house, she knocked on the house. There was nobody there. She goes inside the house, unannounced, uninvited. Yes, we'll talk about that. And she sees this beautiful three bowls. It was porridge, and she picks up the biggest porridge. It was too hot, and she says, "Oh, I'm so sorry." And she doesn't like it. It's too hot for her. She takes the middle bowl, which is too cold for her, and she takes the small bowl and says, "This is perfect." And she devours the entire porridge. Similar things happen with the chair. She the the first chair is too stiff, the second chair is too comfy, and the third chair is just perfect. The similar things happen with the bed, and she falls asleep on the baby bear's bed. And now you know the house belonged to three bear who came in and they were as flabbergasted as this girl. And at the end, I think the good version of the story is the bear let Goldilocks go away. The better version of the story is the bear ate Goldilocks for remembering to not enter people's house unannounced, especially bear. And this is the entire story of Goldilocks. I'm sure most of us have seen it. That's a very interesting scientific concept, by the way. You know, the perfect bowl of porridge or the perfect bed. Scientists call it the Goldilocks condition. The Earth has Goldilocks condition. It's the best condition for life to happen. 
it's it's a, a brilliant for some another day on another lecture on science but remember the word goldilock anything which is too perfect is called the goldilock condition fair enough our story begins with the bear the goldilock the porridge and now let's apply bloom's taxonomy to this the first of a taxonomy level was the call level called knowledge it's all about recalling of information memorization dates event places anything that is in the system in the story in the message itself and we are taking it forward now this is one slide you'll thank me for later all of you educators and somebody called message me that my child is a toddler will this session help me i said absolutely because when you tell a story the reflections matter a lot and how do i reflect on a story well my reflections come from these words if you are asking only these kind of questions you are still taking a child at a level of only memorization only knowledge let's take up this why don't you form a question from the ones which are in red so what would your question be if the word question started with name go ahead tell me what would the question be when the when the word starts with the word name from the story of goldilock very simple go ahead Usually, it's used for quiz, fact, worksheet, any test. What kind of test are we looking at? Go ahead. What's the name of the name of the story? Thank you so much, Jasmine, ma'am. Absolutely, name the girl. Fantastic, Ramiza, ma'am. So, what we are doing is we usually what about list? If the word was list, okay, list the main characters, as you, ma'am, said. Perfect. This is what Goldilocks. Most of the question papers go back have this name the main character, list the characters, list recall what she did. and unfortunately our stories our question papers end up with this can i push you to a level which is called comprehension when i say comprehension list the bowel numbers okay name the food the family kept ready fantastic ananya ma'am so all of these are my questions comprehension is do i understand do the child understand do the child look at the fact and translate it into a content well this is very generic so i will go to my favorite slide is this the keywords and once you understand the keywords you, your question paper your quiz everything around becomes very easy because all i have to do is start my question with these keywords for the sake of you know making it easy i'll just use the one in red fine use the word describe or retell to again form a question on the goldilocks story describe or retell go ahead make a story around it describe what okay i'm waiting 50 second rule or what is it 40 seconds rule just give me a word which says thank you so much describe the house recall the experience of zephyr services describe the three chairs describe how goldilocks felt okay all right the feeling part would be difficult but good enough describe the scenario the chair the bowl of soup anything any word for me you know you all are already in higher order thinking describe goldilocks hairs they are golden in color right retell the story in your own words and describe the character all we are doing is this is mostly a question paper our question paper is mostly in this domain let's push ourselves and let's go to the next part the domain called application now we are using it we are using something that is in the story in a concrete situation we might change the situation we are solving a problem with the story why did you even tell the story to the kids was it just a story or was there a hidden meaning around it so now i can use you know for example i can use a photograph a presentation ppts are part of application journal diaries demonstration simulation sculptures all of it but for us let's use the word draw or prepare and make a question around it the word apply draw or prepare all right wonderful draw character sketch why jj arts of school fantastic yes that's a good word okay google map okay draw a google map to to show the house the path goldilock took fantastic no wonder we don't get lost here in golden sparrow okay so you know i would i would just put an application yeah i put a different word how how were the bear like real people you know i'm making an application i am okay thank you so much i love this prepare a porridge recipe 
I would love it. How do you apply drawing pictures? How do you apply the story in a personal experience? Wow, did you ever get lost? I'm so wonderful. Remember, if you get lost, wait, do not enter a bear's house if you, if you get lost. Draw a picture what the bear's house look like. Prepare a PowerPoint presentation. You are converting abstract images into concrete images. That's the key. You are converting these. Apply the model in reality. Wow, Raphael, you're doing good. Now that that's three done, three more to go. Wow, that's it. The seminars looks shorter than I thought. Analysis. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to discover hidden meanings. I'm going to organize into parts. Now this is difficult. This is where most of us do not go. This is where we sometimes are afraid to thread. And that is why our schools, our examinations, our entire system is on rote learning. As always, let's have the keywords. Analysis would be on graphs, spreadsheet, checklist. What should the checklist be for entering somebody's house? Compare, criticize. All right, we are good at one point. Let's criticize Goldilocks, poor girl. Goldilocks, lost and found. Madhya, I'm brilliant. Make a small poster about lost and found. That's that's our analysis. Okay, let's criticize Goldilocks. For once, I give you the license to criticize this little girl. Something you do all the time with your kids. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Criticize Goldilocks. Ring the doorbell. Oh, that's so polite of you, Jasmine, ma'am. All right. Did Goldilocks ring the doorbell? Would you allow somebody, a stranger, to enter your house? This is a simple conversation. Compare Goldilocks to any of your friends. Do you have friends like that who come unannounced, who call you in the middle of the night? He said, are you coming out for tea? Yes. They are friends here. Yeah? They just come in and they say, come on, let's have a small gathering. Goldilocks learned her lesson. Should Goldilocks have entered the house without permission? All right. You are teaching them. You are analyzing. The story is not just a story now, you are applying. You know, trust me, I am going to give you a life-saving rule. Please do not call anybody beyond three rings. I have seen people, they call, you don't pick up, they call again. You don't pick up, they call again. And they call and call. Trust me, this is not an emergency. There is a WhatsApp for that. Leave a message, a voice note. The world does not depend on your replying immediately. And all of you switch off notifications on your mobile phone because nothing changes. If they don't know how to reach you, you're not that important to them. That's about it. Thank you so much, Rafael. Goldilocks does not have knowledge on who's in the house. This is not a school of friend or relation ever. Do not peep into strangers' house. Good work. Let's go to the fifth one called evaluation. We are judging. Make choice. Evaluate the theory. Look at it. And let's just, just skip this part and go to this. What are the tools required? You don't have to always have a paper-based question paper. There's a debate happening in the school. There is a report. There is a panel discussion happening. And by the way, one wonderful news to all of you. We got selected in the G20, model G20. I got a call from Delhi. And they said Golden Sparrow is a part of G20. The students will be debating, comparing a, a panel of it. And hopefully we'll get into that mode later. Thank you so much for your little lovely conferities around. So there you are. And there we are. So now let's go to analyze. Let's go to evaluate it. Argue, prepare. You know, my daughter wants to be a lawyer. There she is. Do not get into the argument mode. Argue. What question can you form with the word argue? I'll take some questions. So those who raise the hand, give me a five minutes session and we'll, we'll then end up the whole thing. Okay, the DND mode, Madhi Mam says, do not, okay, that was the previous one. Argue, give me a word on argue. As if you're starting a statement with the word, argue that Goldigok was right in entering the house. Maybe there are two perspectives. Prepare a small report. Argue Goldilocks' careless behavior jeopardized her life. Lovely, sir. Brilliant, brilliant way. The, the fact that you're pushing and making notes, you're giving yourself argue Goldilocks was not wrong in entering the house. You get two points. And the moment you do that, you're doing a better. Prepare a list of do's and don'ts in somebody's house. You know, we don't do... Uh, okay, so so many of us, the moment you go into this, a child is not just looking at the theory or the story, the child is putting their own perspective. If Goldilocks had to argue that she was lost and hungry, all right, wonderful. Argument continues, chair or bear, I love it. All right, 
was she trying to survive rayan says are you okay fantastic rayan rayan is only interested in the porridge i know that but it's okay or the sleeping bed but i argue about goldilocks hygiene poor girl she she's really feeling bad now the way you are criticizing this little girl so let's move on to the last of a slot the synthesis it's also called creating in the new thing old ideas convert into new and i'll tell you something very beautiful now okay so far i told you about goldilocks and i told you about goldilocks and the bear what kind of bear did you think we were talking about yes old wine in new bottle absolutely i'm not talking about your husband ma'am but fair enough okay what are the who are the which bears are we talking about what's the color of the bear now that i'll take the answers on the questions later all of us always sort of brown bears the grizzly bears we never thought they could be polar bear and we only thought goldilocks was somewhere in 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 america india did we think of goldilocks in antarctica do you realize how rigid our perspectives are none of you here and i guarantee none of us ever thought of goldilocks and polar bears we were taught this way this is what a schooling system did imagine thank you so much at least somebody thinks of it this is my goldilocks story i never think of goldilocks as brown bear i think of goldilocks and the polar bear i'm reading a story called the last bear a brilliant book message me and a teddy bear with a robot inside oh rafael hats off to this little boy i think you you will make your parents and teachers very very proud but did we stop and ever think did we ever question ourselves look at the story being told to us from ages and we only thought of grizzly and brown bears in india we have the snot bear the sun bear we never thought of that and this is what i challenge our schooling system this is what i love to bring us yes ignus instead of huts wow broth and stuff porridge i knew rayan you always were interested in the food i knew that so your synthesis questions are these imagine asking the kids to make a film for a question paper trust me your iphone and android kids will love to do that your your middle year or your second term examination is making a film a song a story a newspaper a media product an advertisement arrange create propose plan organize construct there is a world out there reels yes ma'am i'm sorry i'm a little old for reels right this is the world we have never sought this is a world we never thought a question papers of our schools of our academies can go through this is the world i would want you and goldilock to go in this is bloom's taxonomy in short synthesis is arrange the event create a puppet propose and i said just change the bear i as i love what rayan said igloo instead of huts think of a different story what if goldilock was a native american girl what if goldilock was not really a real original name what if the bears need rescuing and it was goldilock who went and helped this is where we go from the lots to the hots this is all that is about recreate reignite thank you reuse and all the three r's of recycling recycle the stories oh rafael yes goldilock could be indian what would goldilock's name be if she was an indian girl come on let's end on a hots learning give me a different name what would goldilock be if she was an indian girl and that's all i have got this is it geetanjali i love this suneri oh my goodness gangotri sonpari farzana ma'am i am gauri okay thank you aryan khan or uh, aryan khan's mother right sharukh khan would be happy gazala i know a gazala who is anything but goldy locks don't tell her that thank you so much for all of you for your patient listening this is the bloom stick sonami these is these are the word list you can create and change the way your children think I will send you a snapshot. The presentation is yours. Just ask for it, and hopefully you enjoyed as much as I enjoyed teaching it. As it says, a good teacher makes you think, even when you don't want to. I hope I was trying to be a good teacher. And on Sanara and Sara and the other names, thank you so much. You can always only effort you need to make is request for the PPT, and it'll be yours. And Ananya, ma'am, that is an amazing question. Gender equality. What if Goldilocks was a boy? Oh, why he would be smart enough, Ananya, ma'am, not to get into bears thing. I am opening a Pandora box, but fantastic! Thank you so much. Opening up for any questions you have, any suggestions before we move on to Tanzil, ma'am, and a closing note. Thank you so much. 
Oof, the Goldilocks was a wonderful thing. I enjoyed as much as I hopefully. Thank you so much, Prerna, ma'am, and all of you, all of you waiting till the entire session. Uh, any suggestions and questions are welcome. Or Tanzil, ma'am, take over, and we say bye bye to our teams. Perfect. So on that note, keep your Goldilocks ready. A quick announcement to uh, one, if anyone, all of you in and around uh, Khargar, there is an amazing event happening. Uh, Kajal Ma'am is around. So this is called Business Binders. It's a morning breakfast meet. That's on Sunday 8. And I would love all of you to join in. Ask me how and I'll share the poster, the creatives. And if you're again in Nehrul and Round, there's a, there's a student CEO of business program happening for students in the teenage years. Again, ask me how and we'll get to it. Thank you so much, all of you. Swati ma'am, Ananya ma'am and everyone for that matter. Goodbye. Good luck. Stay safe. See you again next time. Thank you and bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye.